you don't make that Champions League, then all of a sudden you you are a sort of a sense of a, of a selling club. It is difficult to bring players in to attract the big name players because you've got no Champions League football. And players will look at you, your previous season and think, are they real contenders for next season? And you know, there's doubts there. It's happened again. Liverpool have made headlines for the wrong reasons. Like last summer, Anfield's most valuable player has left in search of silverware. I don't think that the Raheem Sterling move will have a, as big an impact as what Lily Suarez said, you know. At the beginning of last season, he was the, he was the big hope, wasn't he, after losing Suarez. Um, it all rested on Raheem Sterling. For me, he done OK at centre-forward, but he never sort of reached the heights that everyone thought he was going to reach. And I think 49 million... I think it's a great bit of business for Liverpool. The flip side of that is, again, Liverpool are losing one of the best players. Two years ago, they lost Luis Suarez. You know, in the summer, they lost Steven Gerrard. Now you're losing Raheem Sterling. You know, lost Torres, lost all the, the Alonso's the years before. So people are starting to label Liverpool for being a selling club. It's farewell to a player who deservedly takes his place in the pantheon of greats at one of the most illustrious clubs in world football. I think the Steven Gerrard. Um, absence will be will be a big in this. You're not just losing quality on the football pitch, you're losing an all-round professional footballer in and out of the football club, you know, someone who you know knows his way around, obviously on the pitch but also off the pitch as well, giving advice to the younger players, you know, because it is a young team. You know, he was the experience um, in and around the football club as well as on the pitch as well. So, you know, losing experience is invaluable. After the painful farewells, Liverpool fans can take some pleasure in welcoming Christian Benteke. Real talent for £32.5 million. Pounds. Excellent player. Um, the number nine that I was talking about, certainly he can do the role. There's lots of little technical number tens, if you like. They need a bit of a presence up front, and Benteke will, will, will produce that. He'll certainly add a, a different dynamic to Liverpool. You know, you'd, ex you'd expect maybe Brendan Rodgers is, is centre forward being more of an industrious type where you, you know they run the channels, they work hard, they drop back into midfield when they have to. Evolution at Anfield. James Milner has also arrived along with Danny Ings, Nathaniel Klein, and Brazilian midfielder Firmino. I know he's a he's a busy player. He's he's, he's not in the Suarez mould as in he's not the finished article yet. He's another number ten. He's another Coutinho, he's another Lalana. He can play off the left, he can play off the right. He's certainly got the talent. He's certainly an exciting player. Liverpool fans will, will like watching him play. Great signing. Best English right back for me, certainly. I think he's a terrific player, terrific energy. Um, you might ask the question, can he defend? Which, when you look at Liverpool, you certainly need defenders and you need quality. But he's a modern-day fullback, if you like. He bombs up and down, he can get assists. Goals and, or not, he's obviously his forte yet, but he's still very, very young. And he's so quick and dynamic, he'll learn the game and he'll learn about defending. So the starting 11 was pretty good, but all of a sudden you start looking at the likes of the signs Man United have made. And Chelsea are still very strong from that share. So all the teams are running away with the quality end of it. The top three certainly are. Now Liverpool, I think, have got a, a battle with Manchester United for the fourth, which they had last year. And then you maybe put Tottenham in that and you maybe put Southampton in that. So the best I can, I, I can see Liverpool achieving this year is fourth.